Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Gracie 1314 curette. This is a periodontal instrument that is area specific for molars and premolar use only on the distal aspects of those teeth. And uh, this instrument, because it's a curette, it has a rounded back and it has a rounded toe. So now if you take a closer look, um, the face tilts at approximately a 70 degree angle to the lower shank and that is how you can identify the cutting edge of the instrument. So um, now I'm going to show you how to identify the correct working end and how to use it. So first you want to start by placing the instrument just uh, in between the two premolars. So now just by placing it in between the two premolars, you can see that the instrument is now parallel to the long axis of the tooth, but it also creates this little bend in the instrument that looks like a V on the distal aspect of the premolar. So that is V to the D. So that is one way to know that that is the correct working end. Now it also uh, hugs the mesial so that is another way uh, to know if it is the correct working end. So if I were to place the instrument on the wrong side, this way, you see, okay, the lower shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth, but now that V is created towards the mesial of that premolar. So now I know that is incorrect. And if I were to place it this way, now the tip is sticking outward and it does not hug my tooth. All right, so now let's get started. So uh, before we begin, it is very important to know that you have to make sure you are using the toe third of the instrument. So the side of the instrument and a uh, toe third right there just a toe third of the instrument uh, in order to remove the calculus. And that is what should be in contact with your teeth at all times. Um, so let's get started. So now I'm going to insert the instrument at the distal line angle, making sure that the toe is not sticking out or pointing outward. And I am going to make sure that the uh, the lower shank is as parallel as possible to the long axis of the tooth. And then to remove calculus, I want to make sure that I have that 70 to 80 degree angulation. And you want to make sure you are rolling into that um, proximal space. So now again, start at the distal line angle, work your way gently under the pocket and begin to roll and activate the instrument at a 70 to 80 degree angle. Insert, making sure you're going all the way into those interproximal spaces and staying subgingively. And that is how you use the Gracie 1314 Curette. If you like this video, please hit like and share and uh, stay tuned for more. 